All right. I'm going to create my first script task. So I'm going to go to the task wizard and let me scan on the local computer. All right. So I am receiving an error message here. I know this error message is all about the feeding and the normally this uh, the reason for this error message is um, the sudo gvm feed update operation is not being completed so it's resulted in no data in the configuration scan file right so there is a workaround for this uh, it's all about just go to command line right and make sure that you are in sudo su and what you have to do is you have to run a command called sudo gvm feed update let me paste that enter right now it's going to just run the update and once the update is completed then we will run the script again um, so you can see it's getting the update and so once it's done i will continue from there right so stay tuned until this finish this might take a couple of seconds or a couple of minutes um, i'm not too sure how long it's going to take it normally takes a couple of minutes depends on the update you have on that system it may take some time so let's wait here once it's done i'll continue from uh, wherever we left all right okay all right so still i can see still we have the problem there are still some more work around let me try those work around to see whether it fixed the problem right um, it's expected right in open source this is quite expected so i'm going to run some commands and explain why i want these commands so first let's run the command sudo run user u gvm greenborn nvt dot sync all right let me run this command all right So it's running now so let it to go all right so technically what that what that what does it means uh get scans is like sh sh this command should give you an output the list of your scanners um so the first column uh should be the scanner id then uh, you enter the same thing again with the web browse right to find the admin details right likewise we will troubleshoot and we'll fix it let's see if we run this command and if everything works well then that's it what we need all right so it's still is running so that's done so i've run the command of course these commands are available in google so you can do some google search to get the commands but i'll put the commands in my description as well so i'm running to find out the scanner id make sure at this point you have to copy the scanner id and keep it with you right so these are the scanner ids i'm going to copy that and i'm going to open a notepad and keep it in the notepad uh, text file text editor all right i'll keep it here right now i'm going to run the command to find the user id right this is to find the user id you can see admin and the user id right where is my oops where is my notepad there is my notepad right user id the last one I'm going to run a command and in that command I'm going to replace scan ID and user ID. Alright. So let me enter this. Right here. I have to replace the scan ID. Right. This is my open web scan ID. I'm copying that one and replace the brackets with the scan id no space then i'm going to replace the user id that's the username and this is the user id right and then i'm going to run this command to see that i fix it right 
let me go and run this command this should be one single line command let me confirm this is one line yeah it's a one line command and then to paste it no oh, it didn't paste okay i'm gonna copy again so that is missing. Let me copy, come back, paste the control, enter. Why? Right. Let's see what happens. So after this, I'm going to check what happened. Still running. Why is it still taking time? Can see it still it's working on the top we can see the process is like usage is high so it's still working heavily scan as modified let's run the run of the scanner again so go into task magic scanner wizard I'm going to enter the IP there you go now this is scanning as you can see the request is there right it's queued right the scanning status has queued once it's going to one percentage we can go back and see the report right see it's now status is working so that's simple as it is uh, to start the scanner so i'm scanning against the one of the virtual machine here i'm running but of course keep in mind these virtual machines are in domain so i'm not expecting a complete list of outputs but i'm trying to see whether i can do this scanning without any other message so the workaround was perfect it worked so what technically i've done is i've done a first command uh, with the get scanner to find out the scanner id and then again i'll run a command to get user to find out the user id right so you need the scanner id and user id and then you're going to just put the scanner id and user id into get runs user all right so um, that way we will set up a new scanner id it works well that's it so um, you can see here it's perfectly you can see here it's still working so you can see it's status running right uh, you can see here it says running and my can see of course my cpu usage is high so that's when it's doing something um yeah so um, once it's going to one to two percentage i can click in to see the status report so until that i'm not going to click in so i'm just going to keep waiting here um, and that's that's pretty much my first scanning task hope you enjoyed this one and i will Make sure I will copy the commands that I've used here in my description. That will help you guys as well, right? So the commands that I have used, I will just copy in the notepad as well for you guys to have a look, right? So, so these are the commands I've used. I will make sure I will update this in my descriptions too. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys on a different day, a different video uh, with the new scanning and all. So you can see my scanning is working. All right, we can go to dashboard. All right, and you can see it's doing scanning, CSEs, right, target. So we will get these details once it's all done.
All right, here we go. Reports. We can check the reports here. All right, so it's running the report against that IP address, right? Um, so we will see the outcome of this report later, right? Once it's completed, we can see the outcome. All right, that's it. That's it for now. Thanks all.